Hello friends, uh, I got iPhone 6 here and the problem with this phone is uh, it is not showing any signal so I have put auto sim card in so, so I have put auto sim card in but you can see it is saying searching so I don't have IMEI even though when I will dial star pound zero six pound I don't get IMEI but well, IMEI is present in general settings IMEI is there you can see and modem firmware is here there so that is a classic failure of uh, basement so I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. So first thing I'm going to remove this PCB from the housing. I already opened this PCB just to save the time. Okay. PCB is out. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the shield. So, for that one, I'm gonna because this shield it has a higher melting point. So, I'm gonna put a bit of flux on the joints. Some people they do cut this shield, but I don't cut. <coughs> Excuse me. So next thing, I'm going to put my soldering iron and I'm going to mix this solder, uh, lead free solder with the, my leaded solder. So it will make a melting point for this shield a bit lower. You can use low melt alloy as well, but I don't have those ones. So I'm using just my normal leaded solder I'm just mixing it up with the lead free so my melting point that will be a bit lower now so this shield will come off a bit easily so that's done now I'm going to remove that shield okay so shield is off the next thing I'm going to pull this basement CPU I'm gonna see if I didn't knock off the components because that is very easy this shield you can see all components they are in place so now we are going to pull this basement CPU
going to put a little bit of flux and I'm going to start heating it up. Yeah, that's it. I think I knocked this gap a bit. That's it. So now I'm gonna put my basement CPU on the side. So next next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to well, let it sort of all over these pads. Just uh, going with my lighter solder all over the pads. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick these pads. The mud tweezer is not good enough to hold that wick, so I'm going to a bit stronger tweezer. So I think that is good enough, so I'm gonna clean off this plug.
we have this missing pad but i think this is nc so i'm not worried about that so we got all the other pads so i'm just gonna clean this surface properly Normally these two pads, they are weak. So this is a pad which is causing this problem. This pad is for base, uh, for GPS. So let me show you on ZXW. can see this baseband GPS sync so that pad is responsible for GPS signal so this pad doesn't have to do anything with the baseband feature and this is the line this data line so this pad that is responsible for a baseband feature so people what they do they run both jumper because most of the time both pads they are weak so if you can see the other pad is okay so you don't need to run the second jumper but for warranty prospective I always run two jumpers because in future if the phone that falls down or there is flexion on the board so that pad may can break as well so on the safe side I run both jumpers so customer shouldn't have a problem so oh sorry I didn't move you to the scope so why did I just scrap this uh, solder mask let's see I just scrapped off the solder mask so next thing I'm going to run the jumpers little bit of flux and tin the pads you need you don't need too much solder over there just little bit That's not my jumper wire.
for example are done I'm going to cover with the UV mask And I'm gonna put this one under the UV light to get it cure. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reball the baseband CPU. Just to clean off the pads. Make sure your pads are nice and shiny because if you have oxidized pad then you are going to have problem in reballing. So we have this oxidized pad, this pad we need to clean off as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of flux there, a bit of there and I'm going to make them shiny as well. And that's shiny enough. That is okay as well. So now I'm going to reboil this chip.
I'm slowly slowly heating on my stencil this ball stuck in stencil so I'm gonna put a bit of flux and I'm gonna push it down Let it cool down. Okay, our reboiling is done. All beautiful, nice, and even balls. So now we are going to solder this chip back to the PCB. I'm going to grab my PCB.
going to apply flux on the board all over I always apply thin layer of flux because I don't want to put too much on my chip that is gonna flow away Now I'm going to flow it with my hot air. We need to flow it slowly, slowly. You can see chip is settling down. That's done. And let it get cool. I'm just going to test the caps around if we didn't short it anything under the RC just to have a quick idea. because if any of the ball under the chip is gonna get bridge then we are gonna have short and that's not gonna work <coughs> it looks good let me switch it to hand cam I'm just waiting for to let it get a bit cool. Time to test. Grab my screen and the SIM card. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Booting up. First thing I'm gonna see if that shows up the IMEI number 
star pound zero six pound we got IMEI number so I'm gonna put my same in I'm gonna connect with Wi-Fi in order to set the date and time Oh, signal so came without even the setting up. See, it automatically set it up. So you can see O2 six are not there. So let me show you. O2. So I'm gonna call to the helpline to just make sure. Hello and welcome to the O2 Pango top-up service. That's working. So that's how we can fix a searching no service problem in iPhone 6. Mm, that is a very common issue in 6 and 6 plus. So procedure is same for both phone. So you just need to pull the basement CPU, run two jumpers. If you are going to run one jumper, even though the basement uh, data line, RFS line. REF, I guess. I don't know what is the name. Let me read it. Um, that is uh, RFFE1 underscore data. So if you're gonna jump that, run jumper for that one, even though that is going to be work, but I would recommend to you be while you are there, you can run the GPS line jumper as well. So in case in future, if the phone flex and there is a flexion in the board or phone drops so you can have uh, that pad doesn't break so that's all for today i hope you guys will enjoy that video please like uh, this video share try to share this video and subscribe this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will get all the notifications for our new coming videos i will see you next time take care bye bye